So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited today because we're going to start a new series on Bluetooth Low Energy and React Native. In the first part of this series, I'm going to talk about how to enable permissions for Bluetooth Low Energy and I'm going to show how to actually scan for devices and find them. In the second part of this, what I'm going to do is actually connect to a Bluetooth device and read data from the sensors. So the device that I'm using for this is a CoreSense Elite HRV heart rate monitor. Unfortunately though, since the time I made this tutorial to now, the actual heart rate monitor has gone out of stock. The good news is though that I've worked really hard to make this tutorial as generic as possible so that you're able to apply all the principles from this video to whatever Bluetooth device you want. If it's an open device, you can just view the documentation for that device and you can use the, this tutorial in combination with that documentation to get everything working. Or if it's a device that's proprietary to your company, you can take information from your firmware engineer and you can use it to read data from the device and scan and everything else that you might want to do. Okay, so quickly though, uh, I have a bit of a disclaimer. So this is not a video about how to make medical devices. So if you make some kind of medical device and it breaks, I'm not liable for that. Really this video is about showing how you can connect a Bluetooth device, a Bluetooth low energy device specifically to a React Native app. The heart rate monitor just happened to be the easiest thing I could read data from, but really I could have used um, any device that I could find as long as it uh, had an open interface. Okay, so that's everything, and I uh, hope you will like and subscribe if you find any value, and let's get into the coding part. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is call your attention to the libraries that we actually ended up using. Uh, the first of these is React Native BLEPLX. This is, of course, used in order to get our different Bluetooth functionalities. The second one is React Native Quick Base 64. This one will be used a little bit later on to handle some binary data. Finally, we just have React Native Skia for fun. I'm going to add a little animation later on. Here we have some boilerplate. I added this to the app so that we can really just focus on um, the Bluetooth part, and we don't have to think about styling UI. Okay, so next let's go to our Android manifest file and let's add the different permissions that we require for Android. The first of these is of course the Bluetooth permission. Next we want to add the Bluetooth admin permission. After this, we're going to need access find location. This is needed because BLE can potentially track user's location. Finally, we need to tell Android that we use the feature Android Bluetooth LE and that it's required for this application. Okay, so let's move on to the info P list and add our permissions there for iOS. The first one we need is NS Bluetooth always usage description. And in here, we're just gonna say something along the lines of we need Bluetooth to track your heart rate. We're then going to copy paste this, and for the second one, we're going to change the key to NS Bluetooth peripheral usage description. Cool. So at this point, let's actually do some coding, and we're going to create a hook, and we're going to call it useBLE. First thing we need to do for Bluetooth is to actually request the permissions in Android, and in order to do this, I'm going to create an interface with a um, callback type and it's gonna request the permission for find location. I'm then gonna actually create the hook and the hook is gonna return something with this type interface. So we're gonna add our callback here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if we're on the Android platform. If we're on iOS, we're just gonna return true in the callback always, and we're gonna handle things, um, the errors a little bit differently as we go. With Android, what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to deliberately request location, and we're gonna say access find location. Next, uh, with respect to some permissions, they actually respect the data in here. Um, unfortunately, it does seem like Android kind of ignores it when it comes to Bluetooth low energy, but I would add some sane defaults here just in case some versions of Android actually respect this. 
Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to return whether the granted status is actually equal to the permission being granted. Then we're just going to export this. So back on the main screen, we're going to use our hook. Uh, we're going to grab our request permissions from use BLE. And what we're going to do is we're going to request the permissions. And we're going to check whether they were granted. And for now, I'm just going to alert that data to the screen. After this, uh, we're going to compile and I'm just going to jump back when it's done. So I made a little typo that Como should have been a plus, but um, everything should work now at this point. So if I press connect, of course, our permission is respected and we're able to get it granted. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is actually scan for devices. And in order to do this, we actually need the BLE manager from React Native PLX BLE. So I'll add a method to our interface called scan for devices. And I'm also going to add some state that's going to hold all the different devices that we find. And it's going to be an array of device that's going to be in the state. Okay, so inside of scan for devices, we're gonna need our BLE manager and it's gonna call start device scan. We're gonna use null for all of our settings because we don't need anything special. We're gonna check for errors, um, like in iOS, if someone says no to the Bluetooth permission, for example. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say if the device isn't null and the device has core sense in the name because that's the type of device I'm using, then what we wanna do is we wanna add it to our state. There is a little catch here though, and it's that sometimes there can actually be duplicate devices, like the same device can advertise itself twice. So you need to filter out the duplicates as they go. And the way I do this is if a new device comes in, I just check to see if it's in the already existing array of devices. And if it is, then I just don't add it. So at this point, we're gonna use our set all devices set state hook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if the device is in the previous state, we're not going to add it. But if it's not in the previous state, we're gonna add the new device. Okay, so now we're gonna export this method. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to export the device's state so that we can use it on the screen. I'm also going to capitalize core sense so that we can actually find it. Finally, we're going to say if the permissions are granted, we want to scan for devices. So in a minute, I'm going to cut away um, to real life <laughs> so that you can see me actually um, scan for devices and show you the devices on. Uh, but the last thing I want to do before I cut away is I want to actually show you uh, me just mapping over these devices and displaying them to the screen. In the next video, uh, we'll deal with actually connecting and grabbing data. But to finish this one off, I thought I'd just display the names of all the devices. All right, so here we are at the end and let's actually show everything working. So here we have our heart rate monitor. As you can see, it's blinking, so it's kind of signaling to Bluetooth that it's on. So at this point, if I press the connect button, we should see our Bluetooth monitor pop up in the text. And you see it right there, the nice uh, CoreSense A06. And that's it for this uh, particular tutorial. So in part two, look forward to us connecting to the device and actually reading data from the sensors. Uh, but for now, this is all I have for today. So thank you for tuning in, everyone.